हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम धीरेन्द्र कुमार मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल न्यू एरिया सीनियर वीक टुडे वी विल स्टडी सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ थर्ड चैप्टर एंड दैट इज रूलिंग द कंट्री साइड स्टूडेंट्स ये स्टडे वी स्टडीड अबाउट परमानेंट सेटलमेंट एंड वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ परमानेंट सेटलमेंट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ परमानेंट सेटलमेंट वॉज दैट इट कैन नॉट बी रिवाइज बिकॉज एज नेम सजेस्ट परमानेंट मीन्स वॉट इट वॉज फिक्सड इट कैन नॉट बी आयदर इनक्रीज और डिक्रीज बट डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो ब्रिटिश और ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज वेरी एम्बिशियस दे रिक्वायर मोर एंड मोर मनी फॉर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड ट्रेड तो हाउ कूड दे बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन परमानेंट टैक्स हेयर स्टूडेंट्स सम कंपनी ऑफिशियल्स फेल्ट दैट टैक्सेस शुड बी इंक्रीज सो दे वॉन्टेड टू रिवाइज दिस टैक्स दे वॉन्टेड टू रिवाइज दिस सेटलमेंट डियर स्टूडेंट नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ बेंगाल विच इज एट प्रेजेंट उत्तर प्रदेश हॉल्ट मैकेजी डिवाइस अ सेटलमेंट इन एटीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड दैट इज महालवारी सेटलमेंट हेयर वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज महाल According to revenue record of British, Mahal means a village or group of village. Halt Mackenzie felt that village was important institution of North Indian society and. it could be preserved so under direction of halt mackenzie collectors went to village to village they inspected the land they measured the field and also they recorded the customs and rights of different groups on land dear students mahalwari system or mahalwari settlement was different from permanent settlement because this could be revised whether permanent settlement was not revised means mahalwari settlement was to be revised one difference was also there authority of collecting revenue was was given to zamindar in permanent settlement but in mahalwari settlement authority of collecting revenue was given to village village headman 
for this they inspected land very carefully they estimated production of each plot and they add up all the production to find out how much revenue will a village provide means amount of revenue was calculated by british and how this was calculated take it as a example suppose there are 100 plot in a village and estimated revenue of each plot was 50 rupees means <clears throat> that village must provide revenue of 5000 5000 and this system was called mahalwari system students remember two things difference between mahalwari system and <coughs> permanent settlement permanent settlement cannot be revised while mahalwari settlement could be revised second is <coughs> tax collecting or tax collection authority authority was given to zamindar in permanent settlement while this was given to village headman in mahalwari settlement dear students next one is rayatwari settlement which was also called munro system in the british territories in south india they also wanted to move away from permanent settlement and here they devised devised a system and that was rayatwari system dear student here captain alexander reed experimented this settlement on a small area which was taken over by tipu sultan and when this was found successful thomas munro continued this system and both alexander reed and thomas munro they found there were no system of zamindari in south india so they argued that revenue should be collected directly from rayat rayat means kisan and as in this system revenue was collected directly from rayat this system was called rayatwari system or rayatwari settlement in rayatwari settlement before assessment of revenue land of each rayat were carefully measured and surveyed to know how much revenue a uh, rayat should pay here here munro expressed his view that 
British should act as a parental father figure for protection of Indian rayat. Students, we studied about three settlements, permanent settlements, Mahalwari settlements and Rayatwari settlement. Permanent settlement was imposed on Bengal, Mahalwari settlement in northern India, mostly in Uttar Pradesh and Rayatwari system was imposed on southern part of India. Why? Because in Rayatwari system or in Rayatwari settlement, taxes were collected directly from Rayat because there were no Jamindari system. And all these settlement were devised, all these settlement were introduced only to increase revenue because British dear students do you know resources can fulfill requirements resources can fulfill needs of people but this cannot fulfill greeds of people ये आदमी की जरूरत को तो पूरी कर सकती है लेकिन उसके लालच को पूरी कर पाना संभव नहीं है ब्रिटिश इंक्रीज टैक्स एंड एज टैक्सेस वेयर टू हाई टू पे पेजेंट्स were unable to pay the tax. Artisans fled the villages. Rayat started moving away from villages towards cities. Means they did not or they could not survive in this settlement. On the other hand, British thought that this system would make all the rayat, all the peasant a uh, enterprising farmer. Means they thought that this system would transform peasant or rayat into a enterprising Prosperous enterprising farmer means farmers become very prosperous. This was thought of British, but actually this did not happen. That's all. Tomorrow we will study about crops. What crops British wanted to to grow in India. What crops British wanted Indian Rayat to grow. That's all. Thanks. Stay home to fight with Corona.